Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dork's Dally. The sword is here. Dork's Dally. Here it is. Here it comes. Coming right at you. Okay, here you go. Hi, everybody. It is Friday. Friday. This weird light, this thing I bought, this, like, camera that, like, alerts me it's, every five seconds. It's alive. Keeps, the light keeps turning on and off. I'm not mm -hmm. really sure. I didn't even know it had a light on it. It's all crazy. It was like two dollars from like China. China. It was a uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Timu special. Timu special. Anyway, guys, how's everybody doing? Getting ready for the weekend. Tomorrow we're done. All done. We're done. Hopefully we can get to the beach tomorrow. We're, uh, That's the goal. Uh, it'll be dark. That's the Shrek. goal. We get out of here at three. If we get out at three. We're getting out. We're getting down. We literally gotta walk out. I might wear shorts. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's talk what's going on. We're all Caribbean. Okay, Explorer of the Seas Explorer. got hit by a giant wave and went. What? Yes. No way. Uh huh. There's a video. There's people injured. No, oh, not of it doing it, but there was God. people injured. Um, there was a. Uh, it was during this transatlantic journey. Oh, Explorer is um, a small ship. Listen, it caused dishes breaking, furniture was thrown around, like people sliding. tossed, old women um, just thrown into the wall. <laughs> yeah, they had to turn around. It's what? transatlantic coming back here. You need to turn around to get back. somebody off the ship uh, that's injured. Okay. A medevac situation. I guess they can't do it from there. They got to, like, go back. How far were they? I don't know how far they were, but, yeah. There's a road so, out there. There's 4,200 people in there, and they were headed, they're headed back to Florida. So I wonder if that's going to disrupt their time getting back. They probably sure. won't get back on time now. Yeah, no way. It was a giant, like, random wave. That's a smaller ship, too. So that's, like, yeah. probably, like, a little more no, wild 4, way No, 4,200 people. Oh. I mean, that's small. Oh, I thought the Explorer was one of them ones that was, I like, did, too. I don't even know. Galapagos. There's a lot of the... No. That's um. I there's a bunch of them. Yeah, the, yeah, but I, I don't know a lot about the royal ships, like the names and the classes and Explorer, all. Yeah, so, yeah. I, didn't know, I never heard of that ship. Yeah, I don't know, but apparently they were doing it transatlantic. I believe from Barcelona. Because that's crazy. Yes. Well, Tex and Sarah thankfully are back on land. They're they, home. Yes, they didn't hit a giant wave. Thirteen days are over. I know. Yeah. That's a long it went so fast for us. Welcome back, Tex. <laughs> I like how we're like, it went so fast. I felt like I was there. But anyway, guys, <laughs> speaking about cruises, problems, the Regal Princess has canceled another sailing once again. The Regal Princess. Again. You know how it keeps canceling? Yeah. The sailings out of Galveston? Ridiculous. Okay. Maintenance problems still. Why don't they just say, like, the ship's done? I mean, really, this is three now, like, come on. Um, they're getting a full refund and 50% of future cruise credit for their next cruise. 50%? Yeah. Wait, let me hear it again. Full refund, Are you listening 50%. To me? The Regal Princess. You know, we've been talking about the Regal Princess for weeks. Yeah. They keep canceling cruises. Okay. And they're canceling I knew that again. they had done this better deal with the 50%. Yeah, I knew but that. they canceled another one. I thought they were, like, supposedly set and ready to go. third cruise uh, canceled? I think so. this well, is Well, here's something third. funny about that. I'm not sure they've if it's the third, known, but I think it's the third. They've known all along, like, how or a better estimated time. Probably down to two days of when it's going to be done. But they're just going to wait It's never going to be done, before. apparently. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you message these people and say you know next week's done, you know it's done. You message them now and let them know it's done. Me and you had a week off that we had no people booked. Now, obviously, I can get people booked. I could just come to work and just, it would yeah. just go. But uh, some people that want that week off because they hate their job, like most of us. Well, most people um, have to put in for time off. You just can't, yes. like, switch it. Yeah. Some jobs, you have to put in, like, six months in advance for your right. time off. Right. At least you yes. can give those people a chance to go, okay, well, we're still going to go to Fort Lauderdale. We're going to or something. Yeah. Because I would just go else. to Fort Lauderdale and stay in some... Some like hotel Here's there. Here's what I would do. You, know you ready? Mean? I would just try to get on another ship. Yeah. Another whatever. cruise. Can you do that? I'd be like, let's go. Can we flip this into something else? Right. Like, come on. I don't know if it's real or this is princess though. They don't have like a million ships. Hey, you have come down here to Cocoa with... Beach and go to the gambling ship every day. You like being on a cruise every day. I don't know. Right now, I don't know if that's a good option. Work. <laughs> I, I said something to another a, ship. I said something to a guy from Philly who was in. We were talking about because he was talking about some ship he used to go on. It was a gambling ship, but it wasn't this one. No. And I said something about the one here. He's like, that thing's a pile of crap. He's like, you went on that? He's like, man, that's our safe boat. Listen, we've been here for four years. We went once. Okay, I don't want to go again. I like um, 
No, it was too long. You know what it's for? It needed to be quicker. Jim was asleep. I'm like, it was, was like fun. one in the morning. No, we were like. The last like, hour oh, was rough. Yes. The last like, hour was rough. Everyone was sleeping. Yeah, you're right. There's nothing like being on a casino ship where everyone's asleep. Yeah. I mean, I mean there was people, you know, guys, was there was weird. these two girls, right, that got on and they were like right in front of me. And like, we were going up to do our like card, didn't get our card. And the girl went up, she was, they were both nice girls, whatever. Dude. The minute I saw them, the ship went out. I saw them again. They were on the couch. The one was throwing up. I'm like, that the ship didn't even leave yet. How? Like, if you're that seasick, I don't even think you should cruise. No, you should not. And you know, I'm a wimp when it comes to all this. Like, you would think that I'd get seasick. But, uh, yeah, so we're not doing the Victory Casino cruise ship again. However, if you just want a nice boat ride, maybe during the day, it's a beautiful day, you can sit up top. That'd How about nice. this one? Would you argue that it's good we for like let's? I know it's just how he keeps walking by. Yeah. All right. Would you think that um, it would be good? Like, let's say there was a situation where an outbreak broke out in the world and you couldn't leave your house for like a, you know, mostly like three months, four months. But you knew the cruise industry would be shut down for years. And then when before it opened up, that actually opened up. Would you take? Would you do it then? Well, that's why we went on it. Oh, that's right. Of course. We did it. So, yeah. We, so, if I was like one of these. Canoe. Yeah, if I only cruise once a year, I, I would probably have a couple set up. To, um, yeah, we'd go on it. If yeah. we weren't cruising anymore, I'd probably go on that. Just not for the gambling aspect, but just for the boat ride to go sit yeah. up top. There was like a band up top, maybe a guy playing guitar. That was that dude was awesome. Yeah, well, it was so. That's another problem. Wasn't he with awesome? This. It was too short. As yeah. soon as we pulled it out, it was done. I'm like, what is this? Guys, I put $20 in this thing. And, and I was he stopped like, playing. I was about to throw songs at him. I turned around. He just got up and walked yeah, away. I'm so. like, what? And he was playing all, he had like the piano, uh, guitar thing. He was playing like 80s, it was like, uh, out. it was he, really good. He was playing all the good Until songs. Until it ended, which was like a half hour, and it was done, and it never came back. Yeah, he was playing the jam. I think we have to go on Saturday night. Someone told That's me one of my customers. That's what that dude told us. We have to go on like a weekend night. Yeah, he said he's got the bar's the open outside. They shut the there. bar down too, and everything. I'm like, the bar's not even open? I was a drink deal that I had. They some good Jim, deals. it was only fun at first for the first half hour. I know. Then it was done. Like, it felt like it was like, I no. know. Remember we were like, I don't know what's going on. And we just left. But no. we, I enjoyed that. I mean, you're right. I enjoyed sitting outside and getting those drinks. And that it closed fun. right away. Did we have so, like a specially yes. cup? Yeah. Okay. You like, it was a keeper. I don't know, but it was some kind of big thing, and then it was over. I'm like, yeah. well, this just started. Now I got six more hours on here of nothing. Yeah, like we just. I was like drunk. really disappointed. I thought this was going to be the whole time. We literally, like, it's a gambling ship. Like they want you inside gambling, well, I don't but we gamble. literally went there to like do a the party. Yeah, yeah. that was so weird. <laughs> well, I think it's fine. <coughs> but we did. We had fun for a moment. Well, anyway, guys, Carnival celebrates 20 years cruising out of Jacksonville, Florida. Um, on the Carnival Elation, they had like a big party, like a tribute to um, active and retired military from all different branches, and they gave a donation to Canines for Warriors. Wow. So that was nice. So they gave um, a dog to like the warrior, like one of the Wounded Warriors? They That's gave a donation like. to that, uh, you know, organization. That's awesome. That's yeah. a good move. Um, they also uh, renewed its contract uh, with Jacksonville for till 2026. <laughs> I don't know, but I know the Carnival Elation's out there. The Elation's that much I know. Well, that's one of my favorites. Elation. Elation. Favorites? Yeah, I love the Elation. No, you like the Ecstasy. Uh, the Elation's not the one we worked on. You no, know, it's oh. the Ecstasy. There's What's one. the Elation? The, the Ecstasy's the one. It's one of the ones that doesn't have a movie theater by the pool. They don't the even Ecstasy have the movies doesn't? outside. Yeah. Where do they have the movies? Do they have any movies now? I don't know. We went on the Elation. We were, we watch no. the videos again. Yeah. Re review it. We live it. Yeah. I, 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 yo, I have never rewatched one of our videos. We, we should go back and watch like an old one. We should. I just want to see like if we I should can just remember. look at our hair. Like you know the one where there was like a mishap in the elevator when I had an accident in the elevator. Like I remember that. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, because people always comment on that. We're gonna watch one. People always say like, let's oh. watch an old elation video. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Is that the one, the elation? Yeah. What was the one in South Carolina with the get the two stepper? Oh, I got. So tell us. I don't know which one was. All right. So whoa, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody drags something out from somewhere. Um. Oh, all right. So we go on this cruise, and this just so happens to be the a cruise where they were having like a group the... cruise of uh, competitive line dancers. Yes. 
Okay, so when I say hundreds of line dancers, Lots. so we get in the elevator with a rhinestone cowboy. This it's man had now. so much going on with the tight little jeans, but he was the king of the whole event. Every time I saw this dude, when he was too, when he was going, people were afraid to even get in his crew because he was so good. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, I was like, oh, I like your yeah. your outfit. I'm probably drunk at this point. He's like, yeah, I like your outfit. And he's like, uh, oh, you do? Well, how about y'all come down and you can watch us uh, do our line dance. Now you can't dance. You can't dance. But y'all are invited from me. And he was the dude. If he invites you, you go. But we can watch them. Yes, and I was we like, "Why? Right, we can come. You really?" Serious? He's like, "Yeah, you can't. You can't participate now. You can't. You can't get in the dance because you don't do it." Does anybody They're do gang. that? That watches. And Does anybody have a serious line yeah, dancing no. group together? Actually, we need to talk about that for a second because there is a. I watched it. I watched you guys. The people that do this that are serious. You keep you you don't include certain. I saw the church chat lady walk up, guys, right? And there's four ladies dancing, and they're just real proper, like you know, there's no room for they're doing that, right? And I see that going on, and I'm like, and this one woman, the church chat lady, literally the lady from the church chat Saturday Night Live episode, comes walking up, the hair and this little sweater and her, her long skirt, and she's like looking at the member, you know this. And because we were above it, and I was like, Look what's going on, and she's trying to get in it. She's and this lady it. went over to get in, and these women were professionals, like they They're were like, like, I don't know how, they like sister. they were the one ducked okay. in, the other one ducked out, they were like working together. I never seen anything like this. And this lady came over, and she was like trying to follow them, and she was so it was so bad. Yeah. And you know, they they she was sort of shunned because they were kind of like looking at her, like, Why are you doing you're ruining our. Right? Lady. Yes. You're ruining the dance. Yeah, so the dude, he, I, there was the most people in this, I mean, this was a big group cruise. But I, I, I'll tell you, you know, one, maybe That's one day we're going to throw a line dancing group cruise. No, we're not. We'll see how successful these ones we're are. I'm very do that excited about them. Because we don't line dance. You well, don't even learn. dance. No, we don't line dance. Well, I don't line dance. I'm a quick and I learner. don't want to. Oh, you don't want to line dance? No. Well, how about I have a group cruise then? You, don't if you guys want to, would like to join my group cruise. Line it's a line either. dancing group cruise. You'll never get up to do May that. May 17th, 2029. <laughs> so please look out for it. I'll send you guys the information and you guys can get on it. Because I'm telling you, I think that we could really do have a fun line dancing. That was the big, you should have seen a guy. I mean, he would have just. Anyway, uh, Carnival revealed its Thanksgiving menu. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be turkey. Let's let me see. guess it. Can I guess it? No, just let me tell you what's on Why the menu. Why can't I guess it? Go ahead. I mean, it's not hard. It's Thanksgiving. All right. Well, let me see if I can guess it. Go ahead. Everyone does Thanksgiving different. In Guam, they do it different. Just hurry up. Turkey. Yes or no? Yes. It's one and one. One for one. Cranberry. It doesn't of say. some kind. I, I didn't write every specific. Oh, uh, you didn't tell us. What do you mean cranberry? Oh, Just cranberry. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Any anyway, kind of they're gonna have baked brie, turkey and stuffing, honey glazed ham, cauliflower and gruyere cheese souffle. Gruyere cheese. Yes. Pumpkin pie, uh, deviled eggs, short rib croquettes with yams, BLT wedge salad, shrimp cocktail, lobster and crab soup, wow. surf and turf, Ooh. which is gonna be crab salad and beef tartare. A party. Uh, roasted pumpkin soup, Caesar salad. We got more. We got wow. more. Grilled black and tiger jumbo shrimp, uh, ricotta raviolis, flame grilled shrimp loin steak, salmon, of course, parmesan crusted chicken with honey mustard ranch. Wow. Uh, and the featured Indian vegetarian. They're going to have a festive maple wedge. This is a dessert. I don't know what this festive maple wedge is, but it's a festive maple it's wedge. Festive, uh, Lemon yeah. cheesecake, melt the chocolate melting cake, of course. And like I said earlier, they're going to have pumpkin pie. So the people that are pissed about the pumpkin pie, maybe should just go on Thanksgiving. Yeah, go that guy needs pie. to go there so he can get that pumpkin yes. pie now. So honestly, I think it sounds like a good menu. Now here's what I would order, okay? I would order the baked brie. I would order the cauliflower and greer cheese. Um, I would order the uh, lobster and shrimp crab soup. I mean, I'm sorry, the lobster and crab soup. I'd probably order the shrimp cocktail just to do it. Um, oh, you know what? The roasted pumpkin soup. I'm going to get two soups. 
Okay. What two soups. What soups you gonna work? The roasted pumpkin, and I just told you the the um, crab and lobster bisque. Well, I'm right. the crab and lobster bisque, but it's never as good as you expect. I'm going to get the grilled black tiger jumbo shrimp, um, and maybe the Indian veg. And I'm going to get I'm going to get the festive maple wedge just to see what it is. Yeah, because I, like I don't really care lunch. about the dessert. The lemon cheesecake actually sounds better. But honestly, guys, that's more Easter. Lemon cheesecake is not very Thanksgiving-y. They should have um, had a pumpkin cheesecake, or some yeah, kind of like cheesecake caramel cheesecake, like dolce, or so, yeah. some kind of pecan. Or a pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah. Or well, they could the have pumpkin. had pumpkin pie, and they yeah. could have had some kind of like pecan cheesecake oh, or something. I love pecan pie, man. Boy, boy. Yeah, like so. That's what I'm ordering. What do you think? So what do you think about my order? I like your order. Can so, I tell you my order? Yes, but you see the menu. I don't know if you can see it. And it's all misspelled. It is. Well, deviled eggs. I'm gonna actually have deviled eggs. I like deviled okay, eggs. Yeah, I forgot the deviled no, eggs. No, you're not getting them now. No, I forgot. So this is what she does, no. guys. And then I order them, and you know what she does every no. time? You guys all think that I'm obviously a glutton, clearly. But when I go out to eat with her, she eats all my listen, food because she always makes the wrong decision every time. Listen, Joe. And then when I order Something that she's like, I don't want that. I'm like, you should order it too because you're going to want it. Guess what happens? She eats my food every Listen, time. Jump to conclusion, Matt. Okay. I for, I all I was saying, I don't want deviled eggs. I was saying I forgot to mention them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, please, I'm going to go with the baked brie. You didn't even get that. I did. I said that first. I'm going to get the stuffing, but I'm going to ignore the turkey. So you want stuffing, no turkey. Yeah. Cauliflower and gooey cheese. Souffle. Souffle, definitely eating that. Yes. Um, I'm gonna have to spend extra money. Shrimp cocktail, I don't get shrimp cocktail. Lobster uh, bisque out of the soup. Um, that roasted pumpkin soup sounds good. Why not get the surf and turf so you can eat the surf and, and then I'll take a bite of the turf. Possibly. Cause I, I you know what, I wanna try, I would need to get a bite of filet. I do, I haven't had filet. God, the last time I had meat when I had filet, I just remember it, it's so fun. Because I like keep wasting, like all the times I've tried to eat meat on a cruise, I ate You're ground meat. You're eating the nastiest stuff. I know. It's right. not, I don't even know if it's meat. If you want to eat meat, at least eat something worth eating. Yeah, like eat a steak, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, or like, I don't know. I don't know what else would be worth eating to you, but that steak, would be worth eating. Uh, I only say steak because it's like if they have filet, it's like some. Yeah, you know, but nobody has filet there. unless you go to a specialty restaurant. No, they have filet at Blue and they have filet at, yeah, at regular Blue. dinner. Well, and why regular dinner. Dude it? said. He goes, oh, they had New York strip last night. It was really good, which is a good cut. And then the other side of that would be the, if it's a, you know, I think the porterhouse, porterhouse steak is like the filet with the whatever. Well, the New York strip, well, he said the, tonight was uh, filet night. Uh, wow. I looked it I looked it up. Why like, didn't we go? I don't know. Because I probably would have had filet and I don't know. Now, after what I just talked to Jason, who said that, um, one of my customers, he said, uh, uh, um, what did he say? Jason said, he's like, you know, there, it's, I've heard of people having like total rejection, but like they ate a lot of meat. And I was like thinking if I ate a whole steak, that's a lot. I mean, yeah, how much more Yeah, maybe you had like that? two bites. Yeah. We keep saying this, but nothing happened. So I'm I sure don't know. Like, I'm out of that situation. Okay. That's all you. That's right. The person's going by. You're going to see a shadow. He's like, why are they on there? Why do they have a ring yeah, out? Like, what are they guy? doing? We're sitting here in the guy's dark. So fat. <laughs> the guy's so fat. Guys, listen to this. 111 Australians, okay, are stuck on a ship. Where? They're on the spectrum of the seas, okay, what? on Royal Caribbean. Uh, unplanned maintenance. It was. They were supposed to leave two days ago. They're in Japan. What? Okay, it's somewhere in Japan. I don't know. Um, they were. Crazy. I just saw this. They were supposed to get there tomorrow. Now they're not going to get there till Monday where they're returning home, Shanghai. I think they're supposed to return home to. And um, not home, it's not their home, but that's where the cruise ended. And uh, yeah, like, I don't know. They're having maintenance problems. That's crazy. Yeah, but here's the weird part about it. You might be like, okay, you're stuck in port. Like we were that time in New York. You just get off. They're not letting them off the ship. I wonder why. That's the main part of the story. They're not let off the ship. I don't know. And they're like, it makes no sense. We've been in these Japanese islands the whole cruise. That's what the cruise was. Yeah. He's like, why can't we get off? They won't let them off the ship. So wait, um, they've been going to the ports, but maybe the port, here's why. If they stop at that port, they probably have to pay that port. 
So because they're having maintenance, they're okay as long as they stay on the oh, ship. Oh, okay. There has to be something like yeah, that. Yeah, and the, the cruise out. royal won't tell them anything, and they gave them six hundred dollars a person to um, for their disrupted travel situation. I mean, you would make the best of it. So I mean, when it's a situation like this, there's nothing you can. You do. have to make the best of it. Yeah. But still, like, there. I at least so they can't get off the ship. They're just stuck there. Royal's not telling them anything. They're just kind of like. If I can, if I can find it, I don't know if I can find it again, but I'll yeah. put the link in the description if I can find it. If not, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> They're like a little pissed off. That's There's a lot of Australians on this journey, which well, I'd is be interesting. Mad if I couldn't get off the ship and I needed 111 like, of them. But what, here's the thing, because it's like a jail situation, right? Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to be confined, even if it is this, a ship. I mean, if someone told you you can't leave your city, that's you know, scary. As soon like, as you mean, when you leave. can't leave, it's like a problem. Yeah. You might not even have wanted to, but because you're told you can't, you're like. I'm sure it's a thing. And then you're like a trap rat on there. Now, I would just go drink somewhere and make the best of it, but I could totally understand where somebody would get upset. And what if it's like a good port that they want to go check out? I don't no? know. They might have already been there for a minute and then they just couldn't leave there. I'm telling you, I um, guarantee you look it up. It's you're probably because they can't get off the ship. Something to do with that, yeah. That's probably why. Because they got to pay them, like, whatever it costs, like, you know, to go somewhere, you got to pay them. That's why it does bother me, guys, when they don't go to a port and then they give you, like, $50 on board. I want you to remember, like, they don't go to that port. They've just saved 45 grand. Like, if it's Bahamas, now if it's their stop, I don't know if they even pay there because they own the island they but, probably already paid but right they probably can't maybe if people get off they get charged more sure but it bothers um, don't it kind of bother you? you're like yeah they just saved 40 grand like you should give something back to your yeah, customers we'll split so, that up. yeah you know what i'm saying yes like i don't know i don't know flights i feel like 600 a piece really wouldn't cover those flights no, I can't believe they didn't give these people their money back for their flights and all, man. That's crazy. Yeah, well, and these right. companies are just... Cruise, so, listen, cruise at your own risk. Because you know what? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's not the same, guys. There no. ain't no... You know, back in the day, you could go complain. You could do this. You could do no, that. They don't like, customer no service has changed a, quite a bit. Quite it a has, bit. It has. It has. I saw another story on Royal. Um, this um, person, their luggage fell into the, the water. Yes. Like uh, our friend told us happens at they the port sometimes. The time. So their luggage fell in the water. Everything in there was like ruined and damaged. The luggage is trash. Okay. They were only going to give them like a hundred and something dollars. Oh, and um, they complained and all. And now they're going to get like 300 it's still, like, what if you had, so, like, your, like, something good in there, like, that's ruined? Yeah, I don't know. I forget what ship this was on, but... That sucks. It was, like, a thing. Now, I would take my clothes out, take them home and wash but them. But it was Royal good. Caribbean. Yeah, and, the, and, the, and it's going in the ocean like that, like... Oh, the whole thing's trash. That dude's flying with that thing. Guys, these people drive these little, like, scooter things, you know, the ones you stand They're on? They're, like, wild. I mean, going, like, 100 miles per hour down the street. Yes. It's on the road. So that's their giving. They're, they're giving a hundred, uh, they give a hundred bucks, 300. 300 they gave for the luggage, but they had to like, like harass for it. That's nuts. Yeah, it, Yo, was, it was like work to get. Post COVID, that people just, uh, companies, I do it, but I've done it pre COVID too, where I have no customer service. Like, but, but I do, I give a good haircut. I offer a beer and water. Uh, if somebody wants a coffee, there's coffee here. That's all I'm doing. That's it. Anybody wants a certain personality. Somebody wants me to shut up. Somebody wants whatever, this, that, the third. It's not, I don't know. Okay. As Michelle heard this week, we, uh, customer got, got the boot. You know, you get the boot sometimes. Come in, you get a little cocky, you get a little rocky, you and then go. you get the boot out the barbershop. So, I mean, that's how I do it. But you, I told him, I said, you need to go to haircut or you, you can talk to them like that there because it's a corporation, but you're in a barbershop. Yeah, the customer wanted Jim yeah. to be quiet. No, he wanted he said the guy he, he that said he came doesn't in. like when people talk during his haircut. Yeah, because we he wants me to talk to him, really. Well, which Jim is, took I the cape off and was like, all right, sorry. I said, I'll, see, I'll see you later. It was mid haircut. Yes, mid haircut. And because he said, he, no, because he said, well, it, you know, if he can't, um, Stop talking like to the, to the kid that was here. I'll just go elsewhere. I can go elsewhere. I'm like, oh, okay. And I undid his stuff because yeah. the kid went to leave. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go. I said, no, 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 no. Stay right here. Hold on a second. And I undid his stuff. I was like, yeah, I'll see you later, buddy. And he like, he even was like, well, uh, what do you, what do you, I got to pay you. Like, I said, no, you don't owe me nothing. It's free. I was like, go over to haircut. You see how they do it? A flat top. Yeah. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, my man. Anyway, guys, good night. Have a great weekend. We will talk to you on Monday.